Hey, what's up there, Internet? It's Brian House here for Housework, and today we are going to be 3D printing a 7-inch drive wheel for the 2x72 Revolution Tilting Belt Grinder. I am very interested in 3D printing. My son Dexter has got a printer, and he's got all the stuff, so it made sense. And I have a just enough dangerous skills in SketchUp to make this actually happen. Now, I sat down in SketchUp, I designed the thing, I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out the crowning of the wheel on the top, but uh, there's a couple of tools in SketchUp, and of course I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to make that happen, and it actually worked out. So I got the design done, I got a 5 8 inch arbor put into the center of it, I used the dimensions from the drawings of the iron horse motor that I used to build the 2x72. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm not sure how accurate these 3D printers are, so I really have no idea. I went on Facebook, and some of you may be watching this right now on Facebook because I'm going to post this video there, but I went on to a, a home-built grinders group on Facebook and I started posting pictures and video of the process of this actually happening. There's a lot of speculation out there as to whether or not this thing is even going to work, if it's going to fit on the motor, if it's going to disintegrate and explode the minute I turn it on, is it going to rip my face off and send me to the ER where I would need emergency reconstructive on my face, probably be an improvement, or will it just simply work? Will you be able to mount it onto the drive shaft, turn it on and actually grind? Here's the beast. I've been calling this the cheese wheel because it kind of looks like that. I think it's uh, actually really kind of cool looking. I put some holes in it to try to ease up some cooling and then also, you know, it doesn't use as much PLA to actually print this. But this is just revision one. I don't really know much else about designing these things. So if you guys have an idea of some changes I can make, leave those down in the comments for me. But it took 15 hours to print this beast and about half a roll of PLA filament. All right, let's head off to the grind room where we can mount this thing and put it through its paces. Okay, this is my 2x72 belt grinder. This is a custom built job that I put together and designed. I have plans available for it if you're interested in that. There's links down in the description. It is a standard 2x72. It tilts a uh, 90 degree axis and all that. 5 8 inch shaft on this. This is already an existing aluminum 7 inch drive wheel that I got from Ameribraid. Those guys are awesome and I just ordered it right on eBay. There's links down in the description. Go ahead and take the belt off. Take the existing dry wheel off. This thing's a beast. Here's a comparison. This is a little bit larger dry wheel. And I think I'm going to turn it 90 degrees just to see if it'll actually fit. Real quick safety disclaimer. I don't expect this thing to fully function and I don't think it's exactly safe. So if you try this, it is at your own risk. I am going to wear safety equipment, a face mask, my leather jacket, the whole deal. I'm not gonna take any risks with my beautiful face. You know, a piece of plastic could end up in your eye or your face or could cut you, it could cut someone else. Just keep that in mind. Twenty percent. Fifty percent. Sixty percent. I'm actually surprised at how balanced it seems. 70%. Not a lot of vibration on the grinder either. It's at 70%. It's 80%. I'm gonna not go any higher than 80% on this thing. But I do want to put a belt on it and just see if it'll track.
All right, you ready for this? That's a 20%. Thirty-five percent. I can't believe how well it tracks. I can't believe how well it tracks. Um, it doesn't feel hot either. It ran for about a minute, so it's not an accurate test. The belt's a little warm, but this is not. There's not a lot of flex in it either, and it seems to really be doing well. I'm going to put some earplugs in and uh, grind. So that was 10 minutes of grinding. That motor is a two horse motor. It's running on 220 and I've got the K-Back 27D VFD running it, so at 50%. I would guess around 4,000 RPM, something like that, four or 5,000 RPM. It warmed up to around 92, 93 degrees at its hottest after 10 minutes. And I gotta be honest, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Now, the idea behind this thing is that it'll work until it doesn't it'll work probably until it just absolutely explodes and fails so you know this uh, situation isn't the best but what it does is it gives us hope for 3d printing and actually creating something with a 3d printer that you could use to prototype a grinder let's just say you want to check uh, belt speeds you want to check certain things you could do that with these 3D printers. You could create something with a 3D printer that will actually assist you in that prototyping process, which I think is super cool. And then, of course, make it an aluminum or nylon or whatever, something a little bit more resilient than PLA. What I like about this is it gives me another 7-inch drive wheel to play around with, and I now have this uh, new set of skills with SketchUp and 3D printing that I'm going to employ to continue making interesting homemade tools. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button or find, find me on YouTube and, and subscribe. I create weekly content that is similar to this. So I do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. There are links down in the description that you can click through and help support everything I've got going on right here in my workshop. Have a great day, guys. I truly appreciate you. Have an awesome day. Bye.